Hi everybody, welcome back to Little Woods Art. Today we're gonna to draw one of my favorite animals, a squirrel. And when we get to the coloring part, you can either make it realistic like this squirrel, or you can get a little crazy with some colorful markers and make this squirrel. All right, but the first step is to draw the squirrel. All right, and so you want a piece of paper and a pencil and I'm going to draw dark, but you could draw light because later you might want to erase some of the lines. So go up and draw an oval or an egg shape for the head. Okay, and then you're going to go a little bit further down and you're going to make a circle, a bigger circle here is going to be where the haunches are. Okay, then you're going to connect for the neck. So. This squirrel is going to look a little fuzzy, so you don't need to draw a straight line. You're gonna kind of make a jagged line. Okay, now all of this doesn't need to be its leg. So what we're gonna go down here, go part way down from the circle, and we're gonna draw this piece and then a foot and connect it back up, okay? And actually, this is where you can take your eraser and erase this top line. Now, I think I'm gonna make him a, his leg a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna erase this line too and put it a little more in the middle like that. Their back leg is really big. Then, I'm gonna go and come back up to the bottom of the head and make a line curving out like this. And then make the paw come down and then this part we're going to connect over to the leg so that's the arm so if these two don't meet then just make some adjustments then we want to have a foot in front so you can add some toes but we want a foot in back so you're going to come back up here and just follow this line and make another foot with toes now I'm going to switch this line, I'm going to erase it, and I'm going to make it more furry, okay? So it looks like this leg's in front and that leg's in back. Now he's going to be holding an acorn, so come over here. You can draw the top of an acorn with a C and a straight line, and then put like a little football underneath and a top. And then you could put a peekaboo arm. So when you can't see that's in the back, just draw a little piece of it. You can't see the whole thing. Now, what is he missing? He is missing, obviously, some ears. So go to the top of the head. And we're gonna make one ear in front. And this one's gonna come down over his head. And this is where you take your eraser and you're gonna erase that line inside. Okay. And then the ear that's in back, you're just going to see a little piece of it. So go back here and have that come down. Now you can make his ears rounder if you want. It's up to you. Then we're going to come down here. We're going to make an upside down half of a U for his nose. And then give him a little smile because he's happy. And maybe a few little spots where the whiskers come out. If you want to draw whiskers, you can, but we're not going to right now. And then the eye, they have really big eyes for their body. So draw an upside down U and then put a circle underneath. And remember what I said about eyes? Always leave a little white spot and then color it in dark. Now you see how his head kind of looks like it's getting cut off because the line went all the way over. You want to leave some of the line, but erase some of the line. Make it a little fuzzier. Now he's missing something. This is where he is missing the tail. And this is the fun part. They have bushy tails. So you want to go back up to his back. Draw kind of a bushy line back and curve it around like that. And then from this point to the back, you're going to join it up. This squirrel looks like he's been eating a lot of nuts. I'm gonna make this line fuzzy too and maybe a little bit thinner. Okay, 
And then always add a horizon line so he's sitting on a hill. And basically, there's your squirrel. And then you can color it however you want. So I'm going to color it with some crayons, and then I'm going to paint the background with watercolor. And let's see how it turns out. And there you go. I hope you had fun doing the squirrel. And if you want to, um, take a picture and send it to me because I love to see other people's artwork. Thanks for watching.